Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for this New Year's Eve episode How to Build a 105 Thunder Chief. We're cruising right along. Hey someone wanted to know what my YouTube friendly camera was. It's just one of them JVC Averios, but it has that YouTube direct download. Now the last time I went looking for at video cameras, they quit. Uh, they quit doing this YouTube direct download. I don't know why, man. This thing loads super fast. You know, I can load five movies in 30 minutes, and that would take 12 hours on a regular camera, you know, and that's just hard to beat, man. No, no, I realize the quality's down just a, a frickle, but look at the movies y'all's getting. <laughs> that's the plus, but hey, we ain't through with this flat situation yet. Okay, I'm going to glue these back two flaps in. Then when I paint it, I'll just tape them up. But that way, after it's painted, I won't get no epoxy or nothing on my paint job. I've seen that a lot too. <laughs> People get paint all over. Okay. We're going to tape this hinge right here on this hinge line. Okay. We're going to put that pin, the pin in the hinge, even with the pin I got there, and put her straight down. Now, if you don't get all these uh, pins lined up, it just won't work correctly. You know, this is the biggie right here. All these pins and then pin lines have to be lined up. Even though it's going to be a crooked line because it gets thinner. So it's going to be really deep out here. And only about, you know, not so deep on that end. You know what I mean? But I got these hinges ready to go. And the first thing we do, this is just plain old vegetable oil. I use it a lot here in the shop. Just put me a little drop down there on my bench. Just a little drop. Okay, we want to oil this hinge point. Well, that way when we stick in that hole full of epoxy, it does not glue it solid, okay? Take your hinge like this and just touch it in that oil. Flop it over and set it down. Do not get no oil on any of this. Just be careful. Do it like that. Just touch it in that oil. Just touch it. Bend it up like that. And let that oil go down to the bottom side. Set that dude on the bench, okay? Got a couple new tubes of epoxy up there, but I gotta get every drop out of these things. That stuff is just too much money nowadays. You know what I mean? And I like to use... Oh, you guys are gonna kill me for this. A small screwdriver for this part. <laughs> They were multi-tools. Okay, let's pour some epoxy out there. Just plain old epoxy, no cotton fog, no nothing. And you know, and I've, I've heard people say a lot, you know, they've had problems with these hinges coming out. Well, they come out because they're not glued in correctly. When these things, when them hinges are glued in correctly, each one of them pins will take a hundred pounds. You know, that's that's a lot for a hinge. I mean, more than you'll need unless you get a big flutter or something, you know. If you go multiplying that 100 pounds, you gain. You know what I mean? So if you get two of them, it'll hold more than 200 pounds, you know. And it's just, they're strong. Okay. We got our two hinges oil. Okay. Now we got to... I, when I drill these, that wood goes all the way down there. 
but I didn't just drill till I drilled through wood, you know, so that's a, a cavity that stops. That epoxy is not going to just run down into here. That's why I took that wood so long. So I wouldn't just make a hole and push all our resin right through. I did on my feet on the wings too. Okay, get your big old gob of epoxy on there. You got to roll it. See how it'll stay on there? Then come over here. Let her drop in that hole. This is just five minute epoxy. There's plenty of time. Okay, get it rolling. You got to see this? That big old drop goes straight in there. That soak for a minute. Bobble specs. And take and push that epoxy all the way down there to the bottom. And more on there. Work it around in that hole. Okay? Take a paper towel. If you want to climb, try to clean out that knuckle. Just a little bit, don't spend a lot of time because we oiled up that hinge. Just a little. Okay. Now, that one in there. And to make sure they're vertical, you know, straight, you don't want to glue them in like that. Make sure they're vertical. We got a bunch of resin gushed out, which is a good thing, but we don't want too much extra resin in there. Clogging up our action. Okay, so if it oozes out a little bit too much, pull her out and clean it up. Okay, look at the coverage I got on that. That is glued good. Okay. Down there, about where we think they go. This end one here, the one that's gonna. up on this back one and this front one and make sure that middle one is in there too. See? Make sure I ain't got none of them in the hole. Let me come down just a frickle more. Make sure it's lined up. Fixing the set up now. Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Let's set another minute here. It's good to go. Now I'll just take me some tape and I'll tape around them hinges while I prime and paint. Then of course, you know if you screwed up, happen to forget it. Just cut it off with an exacto. See now tell me that wasn't a tool. I use that for a tool other than driving and screwing. Why let that thing go to waste? Okay, we're good to go. 
See where my hinge point is.